keynote speaker, Dr. Dario Palmieri, is also uh, the first faculty that is coming from Brazil as part of the Santa Fe UNESCO faculty exchange program. Two faculty have gone already from Santa Fe to uh, UNESCO. Cynthia, <laughs> myself, and this is our first invited speaker. So not only he's uh, representing UNESCO and getting to see our college, the different uh, buildings, because he's interested in biotechnology and he has biotechnology uh, background. He's staying a lot with us, but he's also going to having presentations at Santa Fe, the Northwest Campus. But today, Dr. Palmieri is going to tell us, he's going to start with the STEM Fest. A little bit about him. He is an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Sciences at UNESCO. He, however, is originally from, from Argentina. He did his bachelor's in genetics in Argentina, and then he moved to Brazil, where he did both his master's and PhD at the same university that he works now, but at, in a different campus, in Botucatu. He then did a postdoc in the Instituto Agronomico de Campinas, so also in the state of Sao Paulo, which is another different city, Campinas. And uh, he worked with the genomics and bioinformatics for the development of molecular markers applied to citrus breeding. That was his postdoc. His um, main research is in uh, genetic variability of natural populations of Brazilian native plants, such as orchids. He also works with chili peppers and citrus. Um, he teaches both graduate and undergraduate students in the areas of molecular biology and in biotechnology engineering. And he's also very interested in inter uh, entrepreneurship and innovation. So he's really interested in getting students to think about not only what they're studying, but how can they apply that into the community. And today he had a really nice talk to our introduction class, our intro uh, introduction class for biotechnology, and he was talking to them, I think it was very exciting. Mm -hmm. And now he will be talking to us about biotechnology in Brazil, higher education, and work opportunities. Please help me welcome. Technology in Brazil, higher education, what opportunity is a uh, uh, big, big uh, topic. Uh, two hours, three hours, speech, uh, it's not sufficient. But when
technology, the main sound, the main topic uh, within our representative here, and rather from the side of the ground, technology, theater, medicine, etc., material, both techniques, recombinant, GM, apartment. Uh, I am sorry because some of the slides are important. <laughs> this is an international speech, and uh, you learn about several, three idioms, three languages and Portuguese, English, and Spanish. Uh, the biotechnology is the concentration of several areas, main areas, biology, engineering, and chemistry, with some overlap with the The specialization, and this is an introduction to biotechnology uh, as the introduction uh, course of Alexander. Uh, Or uh, Portuguese slide. Biotechnology use knowledge in science and technology and biological agents to organize cells, organisms, molecules for transform, produce goods, service for, for people, for society. This is important. Student, uh, new professional in this area, uh, understand very well the necessity of applied knowledge and knowledge about biological agents. <coughs> Here uh, I've explained some of, of the main topics, main areas in each. Knowledge, microbiology, biochemistry, genetics, engineering, chemistry, informatics, and today are very, very important for uh, uh, biotechnology. Our student for biological science is uh, Biological agents that we use or we may use are microorganisms, cells, and molecules. But mainly molecules as enzymes, uh, yeah, antibody, DNA, etc., etc., RNA, proteins. Goods that uh, biotechnology have focuses uh, uh, who, who have uh, been uh, foods, drinks. Products and energy, pharmaceutical products, fertilizer, uh, several products, uh, mainly in agriculture uh, and application for production, for example. In service, the application of biotechnology, service for the community, for people, uh, are applied in purification of water and water. Treatment of waste, different waste, pain, pollution, control of pollution. <laughs> Brazil uh, is a big country with a big diversity, but technology, main biotechnology, uh, was recently developed. And some years. Some, some people think about biotechnology as the knowledge uh, uh, linked to GM organisms, uh, uh, genetics modification. But biotechnology for many people, many people uh, are not only transgenic organisms. You, you have we, we work with biotechnology, uh, uh, exploring uh, other uh, alternative uh, and uh, uh, genetic or transgenic organisms. In this 
this slide, we, we have several uh, species of interest for food. Uh, uh, working with, working with uh, 45, now let's do it, now as 45 food. And, uh, this, this several species, rice, rice, Santiago, uh, mandioca has many, many other. Jari, uh, corn, olimpio, and pension caupi, uh, bean, caupi bean. Caupi bean is, is produced in the northern uh, region of Brazil. Of Brazil. It's our, our uh, food uh, very important for, for, for Brazilian population. Uh, day by day, this this species, this crop, uh, are worked uh, uh, by Embrapa. Embrapa in Brazil is Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation, uh, similar to USDA here in the United States, uh, and the researchers from Embrapa. Uh, work with transgenic, but uh, also with genetics, uh, uh, genetics breeding uh, of several species, mainly native species or, or regional species. Uh, thinking uh, about uh, high. Of some components, uh, minerals, uh, proteins, etc. Here uh, are examples of this research. <clears throat> so, uh, I saw that Brazil is a big country for the biodiversity. Brazil has several species that are inactive from the country. Uh, no, several of them no occur uh, uh, outside of Brazil. Uh, because this is important understand and conserve this biodiversity for use for the future generation. Gen plants bank are are very important for agriculture. Brazil and in the world, but in Brazil we we have several bank of germ plants. <coughs> this this germ plant uh, is used uh, today for crop breeding and biotechnology, mainly uh, for not only for commercialization but uh, thinking uh, about consumption, human consumption. Crop breeding work with genome composition of analysis, filtration. Okay? This is a normal uh, process of crop breeding. But today, biotechnology uh, added, uh, increased these opportunities working with molecular markers and bioinformatics. Today it's, it's more easy sequencing a, a complete genome in two days or one week, for example. A periodic, a periodic uh, uh, okay. This is modern agriculture. <coughs> in Brazil, uh, modern agriculture is very important. Uh, Brazil produce several products that are uh, commodity, <coughs> important uh, cultures that some as uh, soybean, uh, coffee, uh, orange juice, mainly uh, grains, etc. Complex. Soybean complex. 
of possibilities, potential of different things. Uh, it's, it's a, a very, uh, you have a very good idea about the future uh, uh, trust, right, What the future will bring to us. Yeah. Projection, yeah. that is the future projection. In two, 2009, <laughs> This is uh, the worst of the panel. And from here to seven years, uh, this is the new scenario, new panel. Uh, uh, production of sugar cane, uh, grains, uh, mines of corn, uh, rice. Uh, and mainly for for how for this is important for uh, when we think about Amazonia Amazonia uh, the production of Big problem. Cana de azúcar, sugar cane, uh, is uh, uh, with uh, soybean are two main crops in uh, the production for uh, each new new part, new level. Year by year, uh, corn, rice, and, and grass. Uh, uh, Brazilian industry uh, have about the direction of production of sugarcane. Uh, several years ago, uh, the production of sugarcane was mainly for sugar, but today uh, the main percentage uh, of sugar in production is for ethanol, uh, alcohol production, for the uh, most car uh, the, the people that now Brazil, uh, now as car in Brazil, uh, are flex. flex. Flex engines. Flex engines. Yeah. Yeah. And you pass a law, I think, right? There's a, a lay, a law, that actually asks yeah, you to pass. Yeah, have. yeah, yeah. Okay. What with, with gasoline and ethanol? No. Yeah, they, I discuss this in my class, I teach chemistry. So what they did is that right, they recently passed a law that the government said that they cannot have 100% gas and they always have to have a mixture with ethanol. You can go Just like us, with 10%. Yeah, yeah. It, it can range depending on the yearly production. So you can have a, a, a range every year and the government tells you how much the percentage per, per year, but it will depend on the production. Of, they came. Do they have a maximum, minimum? Yes, they do. Yeah. They do have a range. Yeah. My, my car is yeah, with ethanol or gasoline. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 Cars, yeah. They are cool. Oh, yeah. 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 In Brazil, yeah. 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 I thought I asked you a question. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
how, how has the um, requirement of having methanol in your gasoline um, affected the um, fuel prices in Brazil? Cool. Yeah. Um, the production of alcohol in Brazil, how does it affect the price of the gasoline? The ethanol is smaller. Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Than the gasoline. But uh, this, this question in Brazil, for Brazilian people, is more problematic because Petrobras concentrates not only petroleum. <laughs> Petrobras not refine the, the petrol. Uh, Petrobras import the gas. This is a big problem for the country. And ethanol is commercialized only or mainly for Petrobras. Concentrate, concentrating This is a, a, a political problem that I do not have a solution in a short time. Because politics and that kind of thing. Basically, Petrobras is like a monopoly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Petrobras. Refining. Because this monopoly, Petrobras is dumb. Well, benefit of biotechnology for Brazilian farming is uh, uh, for most people it's a problem uh, because biotechnology is, is uh, understand that uh, GM organs, GM species, but uh, can cause uh, several problems for local community, local species. But the use of biotechnology in our countries uh, have several benefits. Uh, Model of them uh, related to pollution, to, uh, to use of the mineral quantity of chemical, Of water, etc. Et this is a reality for GM crops. It's not uh, stop uh, in the next year. We uh, see uh, here uh, reach new partner, new level. World uh, uh, develop industrial country and developing countries. Developing countries like us, Brazil, Argentina, <coughs> increase the area for cultivated technology uh, using genetics uh, method or no, genetic uh, modified. Global production of crops. Uh, this, this study uh, is present shown uh, year by year, uh, and this number uh, so crazy. Here, the 27 countries uh, planted by the crop in 2015, uh, here, South America. Uh, 19 developing countries, 94.1 million hectares have in Brazil, in Argentina, India, China, uh, with uh, are the main countries, uh, and the egg uh, industrial countries, uh, they planted. percentage of, of any developing country is higher. The 
four major ways that crops are soily, cotton, maize, and all uh, This is four, four crops are cultivated in the old regions of the mainland. In Brazil, it's not different. Uh, this was one uh, slide in Portuguese, but this is important because uh, recently Brazil approved uh, a law, a federal law, a national law, about uh, releasing uh, transgenic organisms, transgenic species. This is some of these uh, events, transgenic events, uh, in mice, in cotton, in soybean, in bean. Uh, you, you see that uh, not only uh, multinational companies work with uh, uh, transgenic in Brazil, but Embrapa uh, also. Uh, Embrapa is, is the most important uh, uh, institution for research, for applied research. This is the problem with sugarcane production in the country. The region for production of sugarcane is not only concentrated in the southeast. Sao Paulo, Paraná, Mato Grosso, Goiás, and Minas Gerais. But mainly in the northeast. In, the, in, some, in some state of the northeast yeah, Brazil. Uh, and the advance progression of crops uh, for new, new areas for crops uh, is next to Amazonian, Amazon rainforest. This is a problem. The Amazon rainforest is a forest This is a real problem. So in order to, to Data and grow sugar cane there. Not only sugar cane, but it's mainly uh, soybean. Too. Uh, this, this region uh, received uh, several varieties, cultivars, adapted for, for hot temperature, for uh, second dry, dry. The production of the production of sugar cane uh, reached new levels year by year, month by year. But uh, today uh, we talk about the residues waste of sugar cane production, sugar cane ethanol production. And some years ago, uh, Brazil uh, worked with technology using Biomass for of, uh, ethanol production, sugar cane, using sugar cane for uh, production of electricity uh, for uh, the, 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 the industry and for commercializing uh, uh, this excedent of energy. So the, the industry itself. Use some of the energy produced through the biomass. This, this type of work, use of sugar cane, is known as uh, co generation, generation uh, conjunta de energia uh, uh, from sugar cane. But this is the uh, 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 first option, first generation of life crop, uh, using cereal, starch, sugar, and oil crop. Uh, in this moment, several countries, in Brazil is not different, uh, start to use uh, other source of oil. 
N is for N for different uh, uses. They all bridge uh, glycerin, mainly. Glycerin is, a, is a, a big opportunity because biodiesel production is more increased than small. Animal manure, great mark in layers, raw virus, etc. Municipal and industrial waste as today, and we talk about this problem and this opportunity to work with municipal and industrial waste. In our more, more recently, uh, use of our for second generation. This is a diagram for process of uh, production. Recently, a new company in the north of Brazil was created to start the production of second generation second generation. The investment in this in this company, this company Cina, A big industry, a big industry uh, was uh, very, very high. Very high. The investment here was mainly uh, of the government, Brazilian government, but uh, working with uh, some multinational uh, enterprise on enzyme production. Uh, in this 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 uh, company uh, uh, research from Universidad Estadual de Campinas is uh, uh, the principal investigator and the main uh, <coughs> idealizador the idea uh, for, for this for this industry. Gonzalo Gonzalo Guimarães is a, a research from from Unicamp. The other opportunity in Brazil is the plantation of eucalyptus. And eucalyptus in Brazil is, is a big opportunity because Climate in Brazil is, is favorable. It's favorable uh, for grow the trees in short time. In short time, uh, different from Australia, for example. different from New Zealand, for example. <coughs> and not only. Uh, the classical uh, uh, varieties or clones uh, obtained with classical breed, but today with transgenic eucalypt. Uh, transgenic eucalypt uh, are realized by government. Uh, the Brazilian government. So, Brazil, uh, Brazil have uh, good politics for biotechnology uh, uh, and national uh, politics for biotechnology with two, three, 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 three level strategic area, priority areas in front of the areas. For for, for work with, with this uh, uh, range of areas, uh, 
as you have scientific uh, um, council or national council for researchers. And uh, when we think about bio, biotechnology, for example, uh, this is the scenario, this is the real uh, situation. Uh, <coughs> Uh, in 2011, 2000, uh, research group uh, took the total of Brazil, but uh, in 2010, uh, increased to three, three times. <coughs> research group working with biotech, which from 185 to and several uh, uh, situations with researchers with PhD, that important aspect for research, for high quality of research and information for, for human resource. Uh, researchers on biotechnology reach uh, 5,000 today, and students in biotechnology. In, in Brazil, we have several programs that work with biotechnology as possible. BOM is a program for the FAPESP, uh, uh, foundation of Sao Paulo State. Uh, <coughs> BOM work with bioenergy topics. ENSP, Institutos Nacionais de Ciencia e Tecnologia, are research group that work with the main topic, uh, uh, cell therapy, for example. Uh, you have several groups, not only in Brazil, but in uh, the world. Bioprospecta is a, a, a network that works with mainly microorganisms for use by technology, identified microorganisms. Biota was a, a, a network that worked with identified uh, not only microorganisms but uh, several plant species, animal species, uh, and others. Catalog these species through uh, uh, a best we have a, a program on climate change. And uh, between Brazil and Argentina, uh, uh, we have a program that works with uh, human resource uh, training. Uh, and more recently, uh, this is a more, more no uh, program, uh, Science Without Borders. Mainly for preparation of human resource in the uh, main research group, main university uh, in the world, uh, <coughs> student, mainly for students. Are those research places that do research or they finance <coughs> the big money for the different research? <coughs> so I know since it's important to say that it's capable of. Uh, paying for students to go on uh -huh, yeah. study and come back. Uh, fellowships. Eh? Fellowship. Yeah. This is, uh, these programs, this, this network are, are grants uh, and funding. So, well, so, uh, the importance of all this speech is that uh, the university of the school that uh, prepare uh, human resource for the market uh, is, is the, the preoccupation of the thinking about the necessity of interaction between academy and industry. In Brazil, this is a uh, 
it's not, I'm, I'm not a, a tradition, this collaboration between industry and industry academy uh, for, for engineering courses, for example, is a problem. Uh, who, who work with uh, uh, human resources that uh, have only theory and no practice. Intellectual property is important too because for several years ago, uh, several researchers, uh, foreign researchers, uh, visited Brazil for the extract for, for the prospection uh, uh, soil, for example, and in their countries, explore, produce new pharmaceutical, new molecules, identify molecules, and uh, sell to Brazil uh, uh, looking for royalties. Technology transfer uh, is another uh, preoccupation that because the need of academy uh, uh, learn about commercialized or uh, disponibilized available. Um, available yeah and their uh, researchers our researchers in, in academy mainly in public university don't have don't have Skills for outreach, eh? Out, outreach, outreach. Uh, yeah. No, it, 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 para vender sus pesquisas. They want to promote their research. Promote yeah. their research yeah. for industry, for example, or for Google. And, and, and finally, uh, produce services and products uh, for depending on importation. In Brazil, uh, we have several uh, companies that work with biotech. Uh, in this slide, we have several uh, several areas that uh, these companies work: uh, health, human health, uh, agri business, uh, we have the environment, and different model of business. Companies use uh, commercialize of the product, uh, goods and service, <coughs> product developed by, by <coughs> and all the sensing of technology. But when you 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 uh, talk about the, the business, their business, uh, the dilemma of Labor. Uh, their need uh, labor in business development, development, P uh, P &D, uh, uh, management, uh, and production. The, the main challenge for, for these companies are here obtain for apply new technologies, for example, uh, explore new 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 markets. <coughs> this is a, a map of biotech in, in Brazil. Uh, this work is 2011, four years ago, but 70 percent of company by technology, by technology in Brazil depend on Brazilian government for like uh, 86 percent import reagents equipment, 75 for this, this company. Uh, no export okay. <coughs> This is the, the, the main work that this is in this province. Well, the, 
this are most of modern novel uh, companies in Brazil. Several of them are national, national investments. Bioactiva is uh, work with uh, nat natural natural extract plants. Uh, extract to Multigen is a company uh, that work with uh, 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 mutagenesis, di uh, diagnostic uh, mutagenesis. Uh, Ashe is a, a big pharmaceutical company. This company, this company, this company is from my advisor, master, PhD She, she is 75 years old. And this is the first And this multigen in genotyping are two companies uh, of two friends, good friends, Brazilian friends, rich. Uh, this is the situation, it's, it's normal in the, in the world, the situation. Uh, uh, a small company is by, by, by Big company in Brazil is not different. Our agroscience, the bond, Monsanto, Nissan, Zagata, Bayer. <coughs> Here in, in Progress Park is Syngenta. Good. Or fine. Uh, information, the human resource. Education. Today, uh, we have 47 undergraduate programs with in biotech, biotechnology. We talked when the, uh, with the first program created in 2001, 14 years ago, and and the level of graduate, uh, we have 36. Forty four products today uh, working with bio, biotechnology or bioprocess and uh, along the comes. This is the, the, the main picture of our campus. Uh, Assis, Assis is a, a, a big a, a small city. And our campus is a small campus in Nespa. This is the difference. Uh, this, this is our, these are two buildings, our post, uh, where, where we teach students on biotechnological Department of Biological Science. And this, uh, the construction of this building is more uh, interesting because the university work uh, next or close to a local, local government, uh, municipal, municipality, and for Construction this this, this area. Uh, this this the situation are um, is unique in the UNESP. Uh, the UNESP depends on the budget of UNESP, Reitoria uh, or government of Sao Paulo State. In this in this case. We, we work with municipality, local. 
we have several labs, but uh, this is my lab, our lab, plant biotech. Uh, second is food biotech. The third, uh, pharmacology and physiotherapy. Rapid pain, and the fourth is uh, vaccine or biotechnology vaccine. Uh, this, this is, these are uh, the basic uh, the labs for basic areas: uh, uh, general chemistry, microscopy, anatomy. <coughs> Our goals. This, this is a terrible situation uh, for for you. Uh, Our goal have four thousand and one hundred forty. Hours for obtaining biotechnological engineering course. It's uh, supposed to be five years, minimum five years, maximum nine years. So, 176 credits. And the, the course is semestral. Uh, in Brazil, the semester starts on February. <coughs> March, depending on Carnaval. <laughs> <laughs> Carnaval is it's more important in the calendar. Brazil. Uh, the, the year not start until Carnaval finish. It's a problem, a big problem. <laughs> the, the vacation, the uh, Three, three months. <laughs> uh, the, the other difference with you is vestibular. Vestibular is a previous exam. An entrance exam to the school. Right? Yeah. We can't get to the first in In our course of biotechnological engineering, uh, you have we have seven candidates for one place each year. This this number was <coughs> better some years ago, but today uh, for each 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 place, each packet, packet, uh, we have. Seven, seven candidates from all Brazil. Thanks to my name. Eight to my No. The other. We have from what's hard here, but you can take it longer. You can take up to 10 years to finish. That's a water degree. It's bachelor degree? Yeah. Bachelor degree. Yeah. 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 For a chemical engineering, minimum five years. You can study in yeah. Brazil. Our engineer here is about five yeah. years, if you, you don't take a summer courses. Yeah. Uh, it's a minimum of five years because it's an uh, engineering course. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, in this last uh, weekend, uh, of course, <coughs> First, the first uh, time, the first round of the festival. In this festival, uh, the student uh, talk about general, general uh, knowledge, and the second round uh, talk about the specific knowledge, specific topic in each, in each area. We have 64 disciplines. Uh, these disciplines are divided, divided in three content. basic content that have skills on engineering, professional content that have skills on biotech, and a specific content on biotechnological engineering. Uh, we, ha we, we have uh, internship and internship. Uh, This moment, the, the 
this internship uh, could, could be realized, developed in our our labs or in the industry. But uh, in the next year, uh, this internship uh, is obligado. Will require uh, uh, developing only in the industry, only in the industry, not on like set uh, internship in the lab in our lab. Monography is a uh, is application of scientific method. This is the a grade curricular. Eh? The first year eh? to fifth year. <clears throat> and those are all the courses that have to be taken. Yeah. So with a minimum of five years. I teach I teach molecular biology, teach Environmental biotechnology, intellectual property, uh, management, economy, and this uh, planejamento de projetos biotechnologicos, uh, biotechnology project. Uh, because this, I, I speak that I, I am from this school. <laughs> Okay. This is important for us, for me, for our students. The, the recognition of course, of the graduation, undergraduate course, for, uh, for this, uh, choice, uh, course for new students. Uh, this guia do estudante uh, is a uh, Magazine for the students and uh, choice of their course. Next. And we have reached five stars in the last four, four years. This is important because they have that number uh, seven, seven candidates for per uh, one vacancy. Uh, if if uh, we we si, si tuviéramos tres estrellas, if, if they would be only three stars, uh, uh, probably this number uh, would be three or four uh, candidates. Right. The important the important. Aspect is that the public university is free. It's free. The public university is free. The problem is uh, uh, with uh, student, uh, poor student, for example, that need uh, stay in the university for five years. The university have. With uh, 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 fellowship, uh, scholarship, scholarship. Uh, for students and uh, for permanence of students in the university. <clears throat> well, this final slide. Uh, this is a Portuguese, but this most this is the most uh, familiar. Works for the new student, new professional uh, results, innovation, agility, challenge, relations, uh, dynamics, uh, leadership, etc. etc. Uh, the new, I, I, I speak about this, but the new professional for us is, is a professional with uh, scientific. 
technical skills is beautiful, but mainly with human skills, with uh, clear uh, identification with their propositive the, the, the market, not only in the industry or company, but in the university or in the society. The importance of the new professional market uh, is, is here. Uh, we need uh, professional with uh, a good relationship, not only between colleagues, uh, it's similar, but the difference with the givers, this is the main problem. Work uh, in teams. Uh, uh, the new generation is, for the new generation, is difficult, very difficult in some situations to work in teams. Uh, it's patient, uh, human, uh, human. Uh, communication. Communication is not only uh, speak about. Communication is uh, uh, difficult moment. Uh, you 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 know uh, you know speak. You know uh, listen. Uh, uh, for me, it's a problem. I speak too much. <laughs> Science with border program of top China, top Spain, top from Santander Spain. Uh, our program, NSP, uh, international program from IAEST, Grupo Montevideo de Universidades from, for Latin American students, and Erasmus Mundos for European. Universities that a Latin American student uh, uh, use. Uh, the, this is uh, this is a, a graphic uh, showing the, the world uh, the mobility of Brazilian students using uh, uh, science. Science, this program, Science Without Borders, in this moment is frozen. Dilma, frozen. Now, it, uh, you know that the economic moment of Brazil is not easy. Uh, our student, finally, our student uh, have leadership. Develop internship in this in these companies. Uh, in in PNG, uh, we have student develop uh, internship, but today work working in, in, the, in Panama. Two two ex students working in Panama. Raise Procloni. Nestlé, Diverse, uh, Avon, Danone, uh, any of those uh, companies, Biotech Science, Tower of Science, presently, Contrato, uh, yeah. Higher, uh, our, uh, one of our students <coughs> that uh, develop their study abroad in France. Monsanto, Johnson, Johnson, Casa de Ponte is a company of 
Peter. Sem dúvida, então. Good. This, this is a picture. Uh, it's me. Yeah. Somewhere. It's, uh, our rector. The president, né? Esse man é, muito odiado. Mainly by students, by other students. Recently, two weeks ago, uh, he, he visited uh, Assis for uh, opening the new building and the students uh, oh yeah. surrounded him and gritaron, gritaron, con un megafón. Difficult situation for the Biotechnological Engineering course have a Centro Académico is an organization of students for politics, uh, student politics, and we have um, junior enterprise where, where uh, the students work with the skills biotechnology, business, uh, uh, two organizations uh, of students uh, uh, that are very important. 